What's going on guys, Custom RC Mods here, and today I'm going to be sh giving you a soldering tutorial um, for a Deans connector, how to solder a Deans connector. Um, it's fairly straightforward, um, all you're going to need is the wire that you're soldering with, a Deans connector, and about uh, 2 inches of heat shrink tubing cut into 2 um, uh, 1 inch segments about, you can use more or less depending on uh, how you would like to um, solder, and then um, a clamp to hold the um, Dean's connector in place. You can also use a pair of pliers um, with a zip tie around the handle so that it kind of holds in place or you can use vice grips which work especially well. Um, then you're going to need a pair of strippers or cutters depending on what you like to strip with. Um, I think that strippers work for me and then if you need to cut the wires uh, you, you might find it useful to have just normal cutters. So. Um, first, you're going to strip the wires about this much back, and I've already done it just for the sake of time. And so, I found that the 16 size works. I don't know if you can see that, but 16 is what works, and you need it about, um, I would say, like half an inch back. And then, we're going to tin the wires um, with a healthy bead of solder. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a lot of solder on there. Um, not obviously too much, but you want a lot just so that you can have a firm joint. But again, more isn't always better. Um, it's just the way that you like to solder. Um, I like to have a lot of solder on my pads and on my wires just so that they can stay together because I bash my RCs pretty hard. So um, now I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the connector in the clamp. And so this horizontal configuration as I like to call it um, is a is servicing the negative pad which is this longer part of the T that's why it's called a T connector if you haven't found out yet um, and so the next so for both of these before we forget we gotta put the heat shrink tubing um, on to the wires so that you can have it on for later and then um, now we're gonna take the negative wire that's pre-tinned and now we're gonna tin the negative pad, which again is a longer part of the, um, a longer part of the uh, T. So now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, so you can everybody can see. And now we're just going to kind of just put one put it on top of the pad and push it down lightly, just like that. And now we're just going to let it cool for a few seconds. And I'm going to put the soldering iron um, back in this holder and now I'm going to mount it in the vertical um, configuration and uh, do the top pad just like that and then take our wire put it right on top and now just put it in place just like that and so now um, that's all the soldering um, that we've done and I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out so now that our soldering is done now we have to do the heat shrink so I'm going to go ahead and grab the heat gun which I didn't grab before the video if you guys want to and plug it in okay and so now we're just going to slide them down over the connectors. And now, <coughs> this is where a pair of pliers is useful because you can um, push the heat shrink tubing as far to up onto the connector as possible and then clamp it lightly, just like that. And now we can um, go in with high heat. is finished you want to let it cool down for a second but now you're soldered up and just remember that um, if you uh, got a knockoff Dean's connector it might still work but um, the connection may not be as easy to get or this plastic might even melt um, depending on 
But if you get the authentic Deans um, connector, then you should have no problems at all. Um, and most of your RC models will come with the RC, some Deans if they, if that is if they are equipped with Deans, they'll come with good connectors. But if you get some sort of, um, uh, just make sure the connectors that you buy are um, actual Deans connectors, not um, ripoffs, because there's um, benefits. Uh, to having the authentic kind. So, um, that's all for this soldering tutorial, and please like and su subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as uh, please comment down below if you have any questions, um, any uh, comments other than anything that was covered in this video. So, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with this soldering.